Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends from me and Mr. Bentley. Welcome again to the Smart Step CC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something really exciting. We're actually going to be doing 10, 10 different springtime yoga poses that we actually found on an awesome website called kidsyogastories.com. I'm actually going to link it down below so you guys can check out all the different awesome yoga poses that they do have. But today, we're gonna get ready to do 10 springtime yoga poses together. So if you have a yoga mat, like Miss Morgan, feel free to pull it out. Or if you do not, that's okay. And just get a nice open space and be ready to do some yoga poses together. So let's get ready to do our first pose. And this is what we're gonna to call today. We're gonna to call this the sun pose. So let's get ready to start our yoga routine. All right, so to get started with our routine, we're actually gonna start with the sun pose. And we're gonna put our hands above our head and have our feet together on our mat. So let's get started. Let's take a deep breath together first. And then raise our hands above our head in a sun pose. I want you to look above your head as you do this pose. Deep breath in. And a deep breath. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to slowly start to bring our hand down just a little bit and we're going to slide this leg right on up. Make sure that it's not on your knee, either over your knee or just below your knee. And this is called our tree pose and we're just going to sway like a tree, taking a few deep breaths. Okay, next we're going to put our leg back down, hands back. And we're going to walk a little bit to the back of our mat. And we're going to get ready to do something that's called the bird pose. Well, actually, I'm going to scoot up a little bit so you guys can see me. So I'm going to take one foot and hold it just behind me and keep my arms left nice and parallel with my body. And take deep breaths in. Woo, it's a difficult one. It's called the bird pose. And it's okay, you guys are practicing just like Miss Morgan, so we're learning together, okay? So let's practice our bird pose one more time. This time I'm gonna use my other leg. So I'm gonna keep this leg down, and I'm gonna put this leg behind me. Let's do our bird pose. And if you need to put your hands out to catch your bearings first, and then put them back, that it's okay. Couple deep breaths. And we're back down to center, and now, we're gonna go back above our head like the sun pose, but we're gonna come all the way down like rain. So you're gonna see what I mean. We're gonna put our hands all the way up like a sun pose and then bring it down like it's raining. And we're gonna do all the way down. Just like rain. And we're gonna go all the way back up like the sun. Hands collapsed together above our heads. And we're going to come all the way back down into like the rain. It's really called a forward bend where we're going to act like it's raining. See if you can make some rain sounds, friends. All right. And we're back up. Ms. Morgan's glasses fell down, so she's going to pick those back up. Next, we're going to squat down and pretend like we're planting a garden. So we're gonna squat, and if you need a better view, we're gonna squat like this, and pretend like we're planting things in our garden, right, Bentley? We're gonna plant things in our garden. Very nice, friends, very nice. Next, I'm gonna to continue to be these spring insects and creatures and activities. I'm gonna lay flat on my bottom, and I'm gonna to pretend to be a caterpillar. I'm gonna Put my feet up in the air and pretend to be a caterpillar. Hands in the air, feet in the air, neck in the air, pretending to be a caterpillar. Oh, and take a deep breath and lay flat on your mat. Breath in, back up. Breath out, back down. One more time, breath in. And breath out. 
very nice for me. I'm gonna walk back up like this and sit up on my knees. And we're kind of like a bumble bee, like a bee. This pose is typically called the hero pose, but today we're gonna call it the bumblebee pose or the bee pose. And we're gonna take some deep breaths. While we're sitting in this position, Nice, deep breaths, friends. Okay, Bentley, let's slide over so we can get into the butterfly pose. And this is very, something that you guys have probably done a lot, because it's like sitting crisscross applesauce. You're gonna crisscross applesauce. But we're gonna call this the butterfly pose. And it's like we have wings, right, friends? Watch out, Bentley. It's like we have wings. Our legs are our wings, and this is our butterfly pose. I like to take a couple of deep breaths here as well. All right, next, we're gonna raise our legs just off the floor and see how we can hold it. And this is kind of what we call our flower pose. And we're just gonna hold it here for a couple of breaths. Let's see if we can hold it for four breaths. We're gonna come back down. And then the very last thing that we're gonna do, friends, is we're gonna lay flat on our back on our mat, and we're gonna pretend like we are relaxing at the park. So I want you to lay flat, close your eyes, turn your palms up to the sky, have your feet out, and take a nice, calming, deep breath. Imagine the breeze from outside on the playground. Imagine the sun on your neck. Oh, Bentley, please. Imagine all of the running and the swimming and the wind in your ears. Or imagine what it feels like just to lay on the grass in the park. And how calm and peaceful that feels. You can live here as long as you like. And then when you're done, you're going to come back to center and tape a couple more deep breaths. You're welcome to do this springtime routine as many times as you like all the way through. There were 10 different steps. We did all 10 together. Mr. Bentley was going crazy while we were trying to do them, but that's okay. We got everything done. I hope you guys enjoyed this yoga tutorial. We miss you as always here at Smart Steps. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and still practicing social distancing and staying at home so that we can get through all of this craziness together and come back to each other at Smart Steps. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.